So full self-driving is getting an upgrade. We've seen kind of incremental improvements over the past few months, but this just got a lot better. Now there's a couple Twitter users that got this limited release full self-driving beta and shared some videos on Twitter. So I wanna go through some of those with you today and kind of share what we know about full self-driving right now. So I've got my laptop up in front of me. I'm gonna put these headphones on so the volume doesn't mess with my microphone here and we'll take a look. So if you wanna kind of follow along with the videos I'm gonna be watching, I actually created a Twitter moment. So you can see basically all of the videos that were released all in a single feed. It makes it a lot easier to roll through. So I just created this little moment. It's called Full Self-Driving Beta Begins Rollout to Select Tesla Drivers. It's on my Twitter account. You can go find it there. So the first I kind of heard about full self-driving was from Tesla owner Silicon Valley. They kind of were the first ones to tweet about it. And apparently Tesla gave them early access to this full self-driving beta. And Tesla gave them explicit permission to share their experience on Twitter or whatever they wanted to do. So this beta is all a part of software 2020.40.8.10. And if you're getting that upgrade, that means you have the full self-driving beta. So here are the release notes for this full self-driving beta. So full full self-driving is an early limited access beta and must be used with additional caution. This is a beta software. It is not to be taken lightly. They even say it may do the wrong thing at the worst time. So always keep your hands on the wheel and pay extra attention to the road. Do not become complacent. So when full self-driving is enabled, your vehicle will make lane changes off highway, select forks to follow your navigation route, navigate around other vehicles and objects, and make left and right turns. Use full self-driving and limited beta only if you will pay constant attention to the road. Be prepared to act immediately, especially around blind corners, crossing intersections, and in narrow driving situations. You get a little preview of the visualization there as well. So they got that release there. And then very soon after, about an hour later, after Tesla owner Silicon Valley tweeted that out, a guy named Brandon shared that he also was getting the full self-driving beta. So he tweeted this picture of him actually driving, kind of got to see a first look of what the full self-driving visualization is like. And it's a lot more advanced than what we've seen in any other Tesla software. Previously, we'd kind of seen these computer-generated images of cars or semis or lights or signs, all that kind of stuff. But this seems to have a lot more information. You can see basically kind of what the computer is seeing, all these dots not sure exactly what all of them mean, but <laughs> but they're uh, kind of creating the world around you with the cameras on the car. So so the two Twitter accounts I'm going to be showing here from Brandon E916 and Tesla Owners SV all have all of these tweets linked down below. So after that, Brandon tweeted another video, just a short little clip of him kind of showing the uh, settings there. So let's pull that up a little closer. So basically when you get this full self-driving beta, you get a little checkbox that you can turn it on. And most of these other ones have been there before. So nothing else is really new there. Just that checkbox and kind of get another view of the full self-driving visualization. So it looks like he's at a four-way stop here. We can see the stop sign and the lines on the road there. The red looks like all of the curbs. So not the lines on the road, but the actual edges of the street. So that is definitely new. So then Tesla owner Silicon Valley said they're enabling it. Kind of a closer look at the all the check boxes here. So they've got that enabled. They're getting ready to go. Then Brandon shared another video. Looks like he's kind of again showing the visualization and he just records the screen here so we don't get to actually see what the car is doing, but you can obviously tell from the visualization there. And it looks like all these boxes are now around the cars, so kind of showing the actual edges of the cars and showing where they're at. So he's actually taking a left turn here, which is crazy. I mean, that's not something that full self-driving has been able to do, at least on Tesla vehicles. And you kind of saw the warning there, obviously, still need to keep your hands on the wheel. Get a really cool screenshot of the visualization there. This looks like probably the most futuristic that full self-driving has looked with all these computer-generated boxes. And I'm kind of thinking that all of these boxes are like physical objects on the road. 
So these red dots mean that like you can't run into it or they're stopped. And the red lines are the edge of the street. And it, I think blue are pedestrians. So we got another video from Brandon here showing off the full self-driving beta. Looks like a stoplight here. And it's, it looks like it's showing that the, the car in front of him, him is green, which I'm thinking means that it's moving forward. And you can see the yellow lines and the white lines there. See all the turn lanes. But even like when he goes through that intersection, that's incredible that it can see like all of that information. But I'm thinking red. Red is like the edge of the road. That's what that's what I'm thinking. See the car turning there. Yeah, that's just incredible. And you can see like as he's driving by all the cars on the side of the road, it sees those too. So pretty pretty insane there. Okay, so here's Tesla under Silicon Valley. Behind a person. They're making making a left turn here. This light. is like one of the first views out, out the front of the car. There is a person in front of me. Let's do this. Okay, so light screen. And they're not touching the wheel right oh here. Oh my it, god. It's oh, no way. No. <laughs> that's just wow. that's just crazy. What? No hands on the steering no wheel. No hands on. Oh my! Wow. That's Blue insane. Is Here we are. Beta is amazing. So obviously, as you can tell by Tesla owners SV and Tesla Raj there in the car, pretty insane. And here's their like in car reaction. Man. All right, here, second turn, left turn, left baby. Turn. This is all. Shh, people are sleeping. This is all residential. All right, it's coming to a stop. It's peaking. All right, we got cars. We got cars. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, it didn't. oh my what? God! <laughs> Two. It's crazy. The reaction. Okay. Are just All right, crazy. we're coming up okay, to a stop sign here. on a main road. Okay, there's a stop. Oh, and there's cross traffic. Well, did you hit that brake? Did you hit the brake? No! 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 <laughs> No way! Oh my Bro, god, dude! Okay, look, I, I wanna I wanna call something out is like you can see the shoulder on yes. the screen now. Yes. So it knows a shoulder. Yes, dude. Like how thin it is. So it sees where the wall is oh as opposed to the, where the white line is. So now we're on a road. Bro, this I'm done. Uh, uh. So you gotta see there when they when they pulled out to make that turn. When they pulled out to make that turn, the car actually stopped for a second to look out of its side cameras and see if cars are coming or not. I know like when I'm driving and I pull out to make a turn, I kind of hesitate before I actually take that turn, do a quick double check. It looks like the computer is actually doing that too, which is which is crazy. It's another video from Brandon here showing him going through a green light. You can see again, the intersection is just insane. Like the amount of information that it's taking in is crazy. Like... They definitely need that hardware three chip that they talked about at, at Autonomy Day to process all this information. Yeah, it sees everything. Like it sees the lane lines, it sees the curbs. It's nuts. So this is kind of a weird intersection. But he stopped the, oh, here's the green light, okay. So kind of like a slight left turn, but you're technically going straight. It looks like the car was going to go through. Okay, so here's going through a roundabout, which again, you can see on the screen, it, see, it sees the roundabout. Like it sees the circle there. Goes all the way around about. Doesn't go straight into the cars that are parked there. And you can see on the visualization, like the whole line of cars parallel parked all along the curb there. So it's, it's recognizing those cars and knowing that's not a drivable lane. So he only went straight through the roundabout here. I wish there was a video of it like turning or going all the way around the roundabout. So here's another right-hand turn from Tesla owner's SV. Here we go. This is like from outside the car, so you can see, and inside, I guess. You can see what it looks like for like a pedestrian or something. We're coming, and it's about to take a right turn. And it takes the whole right turn wow. there. I think Jeremy mentioned this in his video, himself. but it looks very like, so, it looks wow. like a person driving. And I think nuts. that's kind of the point, is like, 
you're if you're driving an autonomous car you don't want it to behave like a robot you want it to behave like a person because people react differently depending on who's driving but if somebody's driving like a person they're going to react more normally and kind of expect what's coming from that driver so that's a huge step in autonomy that needs to be solved is driving like an actual driver so here's some visualization all right we're going to do the person visualization we so have tesla owners sv has like friend, somebody walking around the car. car you can see he's and again we've got these around. little boxes and i think all the boxes are obstacles i'm still not sure what the different colors mean because you can see like the people change colors to like blue and yellow i don't know if that's which camera's picking it up or what exactly there I saved this tweet just because I thought it was awesome, but <laughs> they said, my car literally drove me from one supercharger to the next. So like Elon has kind of hinted at, this car will literally be able to take you from point A to point B with no interaction. At least that's that's the goal. So it looks like they were able to do that successfully with this beta software. So here's another visualization video taking a right turn, I believe. Okay, so turn signals, a oh, left turn here. So turn signals on. And you can see like the path it's taking, the little white white dotted line there, that's the path it's gonna take. So it turns blue there. You can see the turn steering wheel go around there. Wow. Yeah, that's nuts. I think what I like the most is, is actually noticing cars parked along the side of the road because I know my car doesn't always see those when I'm driving past people and it concerns me a little bit, but it looks like it's tracking literally everything it can. Okay, here's another video taking a right turn this time. You can hear kind of him, uh, him commentate here. Okay, so we're coming up to a stop sign and to a main road. It's gonna make another right turn. Blinker initiated, full complete stop, not a California roll. Here we go, full right turn. Okay. Jeez. That's just crazy. Like, you see, like he said too, when he gets up to this this part where he needs to turn, it kind of slows down. It's able to look around at all the cameras and then it keeps going. Like I think on regular autopilot, it would just cruise right through that, but it actually knows like, hey, this is an intersection coming up. You need to stop, take a look around before you know that it's safe to go. Wow. Here's a really good look at the full self-driving visualization. Um, I'm not sure what purple is. I think purple might be like curbs in the middle of the street because I believe the roundabout was purple. Yeah, the roundabout is purple. So I think red is like the edge of the road. Like don't go off the edge of the road. Purple is medians and like things in the middle of the road. So if we go back now to this view of the visualization. So we can see the red, red is the edge of the curve. Your car's in the middle there. Blue is the path it wants to take. I'm not sure what yellow is. That might just be like the edge line of the lane, like a double yellow line. Purple is medians and things in the middle road that are raised that you can't drive over. And we've got all the lights and the, the typical stuff there. And then boxes surround objects. I think that's, I think that's all. I'm not sure what the difference is between the white and blue line that the car is trying to take but I'm sure time will tell. So the biggest news here, I think, is that full self-driving is getting another price increase. We saw this uh, a little bit ago because Tesla was adding some more features like Smart Summon and that sort of thing. And they're now increasing the price by $2,000 on Monday. I think this is a pretty big jump in terms of the features of full self-driving. So. I think that's a justified price increase from Tesla, but again, I don't know if it's worth it for the average person. I don't know how many people actually need all these features in their car. So coming Monday, 
full self-driving will be a $10,000 add-on, which is just absurd. And part of the reason I ended up getting Enhanced Autopilot a little bit while back. And uh, glad I have Enhanced Autopilot, but uh, would like to save up so that I can get full self-driving. But anyway, that's where Tesla is headed. That's basically all the videos I could find. Um, if I missed any here, definitely let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of full self-driving. Do you think this is worth $10,000 now? Like, there's a lot of very compelling features, but I don't know how many people are actually going to pony up that money to get these kind of features. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like this video if you want me to do some more like this, and I will see you in the next one.